Hey guys. He's flying! I'm sorry I couldn't resist, the pose was too perfect. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time, we discovered this sand ship in the middle of the desert, and I'm not talking about Skyward Sword either. We saw that there was a Beanstar piece up on deck, but as we reached out to get it because the Mario Bros wouldn't say anything about it, the undead crew of this not so hardy vessel took it inside. This time, we're going in after the shard and hopefully claiming it for ourselves. And hey, check it out. This guy, despite his appearance, is a good guy. How do you know for sure? Well, a talk icon appeared in the corner and they didn't shout, let's go, okie dokie, involuntarily. It's a great way of telling if somebody is bad or not. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to betray you that way. Who are you guys? New deckhands, don't even think about drinking the Jacola Cola down in the hold. I always feel like he's going to say more, but he says Jacola Cola and then hole, like, because it doesn't have sound in it. Yeah, you get what I mean. Uh, so, why is a ship in the desert? See, this is a sunken ship. Yeah, because sunken ships are known for being beached in a desert. Yep, it sank. And time and time, and time passed and passed, and before anyone knew it, the ocean was a desert. In fact, it's been so dang long, just look at us. We're bags of bones over here. So you mean to tell me that the Bean Bean Kingdom has the opposite problem of global warming? Their sea level is actually going down. What a crazy mixed up place this is. I kind of feel like the Bean Bean Kingdom would be the most miserable place to live in all the things that we have learned about how this place is throughout all our adventures, though. But... Uh, lucky for us, we were able to just kind of pilfer the captain's treasure there and not get in trouble for it, because that totally happens whenever you cross pirates. They don't really seem to care about their treasure at all. Uh, just when this big, great chest of Chocola got to head out to sea anyway. I'm sick of waiting. I'll kind of got to wonder just how long you've been waiting. Like, I blow drank too much Chocola cold in the hoods. His bones got all soft and flabby, and they can't get him off the wall. We'll have to remember that for a little bit later. Perhaps we'll run into such a fellow. Sorry, we filled all of our open positions. You ought to come back another time. Aye, well, it's always have been my dream to work on a pirate ship, but I guess my dream ain't coming true today. I guess we'll just give up and go home. And, ooh, good thing I had a quitter's attitude and gave up and went home. I can get a lot of coins out of this. Okay, okay. This game rewarded me enough for having a quitter's attitude for one day. I can now afford to have a winner's attitude, and I don't just mean that because I have a lot more coins. <laughs> Whole bloat is even more of an oh stop than before. Everyone's saying the crack of the wall is gradually getting bigger and bigger. What's that? You don't know what an oh stop is. Sheesh, it's simple. Try spelling it backwards. <laughs> it kind of reminds me, I had a cousin one time who. Oh, wait a minute. Wow. Okay, yeah, I want to talk to you. Uh, want to get a needed membership card for this boat. Want a membership card? Do something to help out the boat. Well, I guess now than ever before, we need that job. How about we go take care of that? I didn't think that was coming up so quickly. Let's do that. Hey. I, I just can't handle this heavy-duty brain labor! Please, quit crying, I swear! This is why I hate hiring these workers from out in the sticks! Okay. Perfect timing! Yeah, perfect timing! You two ready to take on a little work? Yeah, you bet we are! We are happy to work for that Beanstar piece, even though it would've been nice to get it for free, and check it out! It's an undead Kong! His name is Bink! If you get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekick. You win, I win, we all win! I'll say we all win! Being a sidekick to a dead monkey is my life's dream! It's what I've always wanted to do with my life. Let's get this started! So, we have another new mini game here. It's a puzzle game. You want to match um, the color of barrels all the way from one end of the board to the other in either a row or a column. Mario moves them vertically, Luigi moves them horizontally. Uh, this is a very interesting minigame, and it further emphasizes what I was saying before, how admirable it is that they had so much creativity and variety in these minigames. I mean, it can be tough stuff to program to make so many different, just, I guess, types of gameplay work within the same game, and it just shows, like, how much time and effort went into this game for them to have all of these differing minigames. I keep saying the word game, but all that creativity and work ethic is wasted on me, because I am awful at this minigame, if you couldn't tell already by how much I'm fumbling around just trying to get a match. When I was a kid, this was close to being my border jump. I remember being stuck on this game for days. I could not get 10 points. I struggled on it so much, and I'm sure a lot of you are saying, man, how could you ever get stuck on this? Because it's really not that hard. And yeah, I'm sure to a lot of people it's not. I'm just really bad at it for some reason, and I've only just barely gotten better with age. <laughs> okay, I had to make a pun of some sort. It's all I have to cling on to in this sad, sad minigame that I'm terrible at. I'm sure you guys are all shouting at your screen with really obvious moves that I could be making right now, and I don't blame you in the slightest. And the worst thing is, we have what, like 90 seconds to go on this thing? How the heck am I gonna fill time? 
I guess this would be just as good of a spot as any to say what I got interrupted with earlier. Well, okay. They were calling Bloat an Ostaf behind his back, which is Fatso spelled backwards. It reminds me of something that happened to me as a kid that was like almost exactly the same as that. I had this cousin who was like three years old, and we were like out at a mall someplace, and there was this lady who happened to be shopping there who was overweight. And you know, three year olds, they can be really naive and really not know any better, not to say certain things. And my cousin, she turns to my uncle, and she just goes, Daddy, that lady's FAT. And it just. <laughs> What a thing to say! Like, she thought that was code that an adult woman would not be able to understand. And just, the looks that we got from everyone there from that, it was so... <laughs> I felt so bad, yet it's just such a funny thing to look back on at the same time. I'm so sorry, but... It just, it reminded me of that, because it was almost exactly the same thing at play here. <laughs> the code word they had for calling bloat that, ugh. And, can I just say, wow! I am the worst player of this game! who has ever lived. Just wow. I am having so much trouble with this thing. It's just, I don't know, maybe my, maybe I just don't have the capacity for such challenging puzzles, if you want to call it that, but it's just like, they wanted me to get nine points. I'm ending this time limit, and I have six. And this is with me, like, working as hard as I could. Well, I did a lot better on my second attempt than on my first, that's for dang sure. I have that much time left, and yet I already cleared it? Well, apparently it was a case of live commentary just making it harder for me to think. But even with that better run, I'm not able to catch a break. That is because after you've gotten 10 points, he ramps up the difficulty a bit by adding a third color into the mix with some yellow barrels. And I gotta say, I don't want to have some yellow barreled fun. It, it was supposed to be like a pirate joke, like yellow belly, but I just kind of, it sounds really dumb now that I say it out loud. This is really embarrassing. Well, 14 points. That's not too bad. Yeah, we get to be the sidekick to a dead guy. Everybody's dream. Unfortunately, we can't pay it with cash. Take this instead. The bean star. No, membership card. How about we go back in here? Even though I don't necessarily want to barrel like you're asking me, uh, I'll just pretend like I do because I want to show what happens if you play this minigame again. I'm pretty sure you can tell what's going to happen here, but what's the fun in spoiling it? Tied my score that time. I really, really would not like to barrel. So, did you think we were going to get any sort of meaningful reward for that? Well, for 14 points, we get the best of the beanstalk, which is how many beans? Two! Two! Barrels takes about 10,000 hours to play, and it gives you two beans for that many points, whereas Nintendo takes one minute to play, and I got what? Eight beans for it? Yeah. Barrels, you suck. Go bite Nintendo's something or other. I don't even know what body part a Nintendo machine would have on it. Because it has a mushroom. Yeah, go bite its mushroom. Suck on it. Blech. Well, we got our membership card. Yeah, you look at it. I played a mini game that I had absolutely no good time playing for the past six minutes. And yeah, you ought to recognize my status aboard this sea worthy, or excuse me, sand worthy vessel. Bringing the sparkly thing to the hold was a good idea, but where do we put it? Uh, in our, in our hands, please. Well, now they speak up. You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the bean star? And you say you two came here looking for it. Hmm, really, you want this thing. Well, I guess I could give it to you. But I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch. I can't just give it to you for free. All right. Just get that guy blowed off the wall up ahead. Then I'll give you this spark sparkly thing to you guys. Those are, you know, conditions of the trade. Well, let's check him out. What? Come on, come on, have a look at the completely pathetic inflated man, Bloat! He drank so much of Cola Cola, he got stuck in this crack. This is an oddly, um, bad taste thing to have on screen after that story I just told we were playing those mini games. So, uh, they need some kind of bomb to blow up this wall. Wee burp! Mr. Cola Cola Fizz seems right through your bones. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Gee, I wonder what they're implying that the Jacola Cola is just like. I mean, I know it's not unusual for soda to come in glass bottles and for there to be gourmet sodas, but I mean, he's burping and he's like, wee, and all that, so I, I think you can tell. What we want to do is we want to go up here, just apply some emergency clean to that stinky old floor. Don't go boinging down on it. Uh, I'm feeling like a naughty boy. For that, we shake loose some very conveniently stashed dynamite that just happened to be in the ceiling right there. And since it just happens to be right here, let's set it afire! <laughs> I'm hearing like the Brook the Skeleton laugh with him being like undead and having a laugh like that. I'm sorry. I mean, they're even pirates! Don't even tell me you would not think of Brook the Skeleton from One Piece on this situation. Uh, what's going on here? C Captain, it's the ocean! It's an actual ocean! Oh, is the SS Chocola finally afloat once more? <laughs> well, um. Well, the one time that you actually want your ship to be beached, because uh, that lasted all of about 10 seconds. With that, I'd say we're having a pretty rotten day. No, not just because the Beanstar got away from us, or even just because we were in a sinking ship, but because we just transitioned from T.E. Valley's music to Oho Oasis's music to Oho Ocean's music. That's a pretty bad day if I ever heard one, having those songs taken from me and having them replaced by this. But are we gonna let a little music change and a Beanstar running away from us get to us, or the death of a ship's crew get to us? Okay, that'd probably get to us, but we're not gonna let it get to us, because I wanna go out of the Oho Ocean over to this pipe. We can always be fashionably late. That Beanstar runs away from us twice, so we don't chase after it a third time. Instead, we let it come to us. We gotta play hard to get. Okay, I'm just pussyfooting around what I'm actually trying to show here. It is that, now that we have advanced swing bros, there are some more items like that Ultra Shroom that are really helpful to you to go around the world and get. It just so happens that pipe drops us off near an area full of these items. And we're never going to have another real good reason to go to this area, so I thought this would be a good place to stick this. I'm going to meet you guys over in the Woohoo University. You're going to want to get into a battle with an Eeker. Be very careful that you don't counterattack these things because they have very low health, and what you want to do is advance. That's not advanced swing bros. <laughs> They have very low max HP, so you don't want to first strike them. If you were to do that, you'd probably instantly kill them. Same goes for counterattacking this with your hammer. They are very likely to kill you, but at this point, they're going to do laughable damage to you. Wow, that's, I think, the first time I've ever actually seen one of those attack. Kind of funny. Uh, Luigi, it's pretty inconsequential what you do in this fight. We'll just kill that thing, I guess. Sure. Okay. What I really want to do is do advanced swing bros. Oh, no, 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 no. Advanced Swing Bros on this Eeker. And if you pull it off successfully, yes, you will steal a pair of Smart Pants. Missed opportunity to call them Smarty Pants, I have to say. That's, uh... I am very disappointed because that's totally what I would have called that item. Then again, there's probably a reason why I don't name things in games. I got two red peppers for that? Dang, that was a good battle to have. Okay. So, in our equipment, those smart pants give us a little bit more defense than what we already had in Mario, but if I recall, they're not all that helpful at this point. Yeah. Thing is, you're going to be able to buy the Shroom Bells at roughly the same point that you get Advanced Swing Bros if you're going for it as soon as possible. So it's not like a mega helpful item, but I guess it was worth showing at the very least if you wanted an item that boosted defense by a lot. Also on the way to get that, I can get that bean that I passed up last time I was here. How did I not see that? Second is that you want to get into a battle with a Mecha Chomp, but you do not want to kill it. You want to make it malfunction instead. I know it's really strange, but that is what you want to do. So let's see if we can maybe counterattack this guy. Okay, that's good. That should... Yes, okay, good. While he is malfunctioning, we want to do Advanced Swing Bros. I'm going to just do the normal versions because I don't want to risk messing... Well, hmm. I'm kind of used to the faster timing. Let's try this. That gives the school emblem, a badge that you cannot get anywhere else. That's a pretty good increase in power, but it's not better than what I have. Truth be told, Mario only has the bean badge on right now because I didn't want to accidentally kill that Mega Chomp before making it malfunction, 
So my equipment kind of sucks right now. It's not better than other things that I have available to me, like this. Next on the hit list is the yellow virus. Cannot be any other color whatsoever. Do advanced swing bros on him, and you can get the steady badge. This is five more points of power over the bros rock badge at the cost of some BP, and like I've said, I'm not really struggling for BP right now, so I will take that. Back over by the entrance to Oho Ocean, or the exit to Oho Ocean, however you want to look at it, we just want to go back down here. We are all done getting items from Advanced Swing Bros for the time being. That is not every helpful item that you can get from Advanced Swing Bros, however. My reason for stopping right here is that the other two that I really want to show off are in Chuckle Huck Woods. And as you can see, there's a Bean Star piece there, and we're probably going to be going out that way in the very near future because of that, so I'm going to hold off for the time being. However, if you want to go to Chucklehook Woods right now and get the items from Advanced Swing Bros, you can very much do that. If you're curious of which enemies you want to use Advanced Swing Bros on, it's the Fuzzbush and the Gold Beanie. Those will give you some equipment that you can't get elsewhere. Other than that, though, I think we're all done here. This, I was gonna end the video the same way again, but this whole I'm flying thing kinda doesn't work as well on a sunken ship. Now I just need to find the blue heart of the ocean. Next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we continue our pursuit of the Beanstar piece. See you guys then.